That was one of the best boxing performances I, I've ever seen. Um, I've seen many over the years, but to make an elite fighter in Earl Spence look not elite, look very ordinary at times, mm. um, was a joy to watch. It, you know, we talked about his job there. His job, he's a right-handed, he said southpaw for the majority of that, well, the whole fight pretty much, but he's right-handed. It was a, a ramrod. Every time he hit, he was getting hurt with the job. Mm -hmm. um, <sighs> His defense was good. The stuff he was doing inside and, and blocking and pushing off of his shoulders. He used his strength and he, and he, he looked stronger than Earl Spence at times. And, and, and you pointed that out, Denzel. Like his, his wrestling background may, may come into show tonight. But that was, I mean, that was breathtaking. One of the, one, genuinely one of the best boxing performances I've ever seen. And from Errol Spence's perspective tonight, he goes down in the second <clears> round. He's comprehensively outboxed. He is then dismantled. This is a very substantial career that has been ripped up tonight, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... By the, the margin of the victory. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't show his pedigree, this, you know, this performance. I mean, it just shows the level of Terence Crawford. I mean, I think we just witnessed greatness. That's, this is the best fighter in the world, hands down, because an elite fighter like Spence, he beats every other world way out there, mm. just not Terence Crawford. I suppose there's a, a little... Backhanded compliment to you in the fact that, you know, you, you fought that machine that we witnessed tonight. What is it like to be in there? What is it like to be where Errol Spence is now? You weren't taken apart in quite that fashion, I must say. Yeah, I mean, um, he, he was always one step ahead of, of you in, in, in that fight. Like, when I was fighting him, he was just making me miss by inches. And he's got such great sharpness. And his, his job today was the winner for the fight, what got him the win for the fight. I mean, so accurate, so patient. I mean, the timing, he, it's like he was, you know, he, he was hitting him when he wanted to hit him. I mean, I, I, honestly, I have to say, one of the best performances I have ever seen, especially because we're not saying that Spence is an ordinary fighter. I mean, Spence is one of the best fighters in the world and was... A lot of us said that he's maybe ranked one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. But with the with the with the fight he had there, I mean how how Crawford destroyed him and dismantled him. The destructive beatdown he just he just received there, he was on the receiving end of and um I don't know. Look, there's been a lot of inactivity, but there has been a lot of inactivity for Crawford as well. Um is he maybe not the same fighter now as he once was because of the car crash and the serious stuff that was going on outside the ring? Um, who knows? But I think that's maybe a bit unfair on Terence Crawford. I think mm. he was just phenomenal tonight. Mm -hmm. Could he have done anything else, Denzel, for you at any point? I was spent. To, to stop Crawford no. from gathering this authority I don't think he could through the middle rounds. Because, I mean, we all agreed I was spent is one way and he's one way and it's what are you going to do about it. And Crawford showed up tonight what he's going to yeah. do about it. And he just stayed composed, everything off the jab. He looked at what he needed to look at, moved around when he needed to, stayed inside and was just catching all the shots inside. Like, Errol Spencer's shots wasn't affecting Crawford at all, even when they did land clean. He just, he, he just didn't have the pop in his shots tonight. I think he was a bit too tense. I think it was a massive occasion. I mean, it's, it's the yeah. biggest fight of both their careers, but yeah. the difference is Crawford felt like he belonged there. And I think that showed. Mm. Yeah, no disrespect to Spence. I think, look, he's still a great fighter and would beat a lot of the top elite fighters in the welterweight division. But I just feel that Crawford had his number in this fight. He just beat him. His timing was on point. And, I mean, the game plan they had... And sorry to cut you, but Crawford's been chasing this fight since 2018. Yeah. He's had five years to look at Spence and know exactly what Absolutely. he does yeah, yeah. from head to toe. So that's another thing. And Spence weren't too bothered about Crawford at first. I mean, the reason I asked the question from Spence's perspective after this, you know, the rematch clause and the suggestion maybe that he will, he'll want to do it again. I know that's easy in the moment. Will he really want to do that? Look, he, at the moment, you're going to say, yeah, I'll take the rematch straight away. But to be honest with you, I don't think it will do him any good. I think he'll get probably beat even worse than he got beat today. Uh, might even get knocked out quite badly. I think he should probably... He, there was talk out there that he's having problems making weight and stuff, so maybe moving up a weight. Um, like I said, there's still a lot of big names out there who I think Spence will beat, but I just feel that Crawford just has his style. Mm. There's, I, I, there's a, a big statement I'm going to make here. The fate of our the fighter of our generation, everyone would probably agree, is Floyd Mayweather. 
I think Terence Crawford is now the fighter of our generation. That, that, that performance beats Floyd Mayweather at his best at welterweight. I genuinely yeah. believe I, that. That's know, a big, I, massive statement. But that was, I mean, that was... It was that good tonight, wasn't unbelievable. it? Unbelievable. Yeah. And so where do, where do we have him now, pound for pound, number one? I think oh, our, oh, he's number in, one. Com in commentary, the boys have made it fairly clear what yeah, they think. Yeah, I mean, look, I think he clearly he just showed the world that he's the number one fighter in the world, pound for pound, and I can't have anyone disagree with me. No, you got to feel sorry for Inouye a little bit because he was number one, pound for pound, for about four days. <laughs> exactly. <Now, laughs> yeah. We're Crawford not going to forget is, what he did. Yeah, no, unbelievable, yeah, yeah. But, but Crawford is, yeah, deservedly the, I mean, the number one, pound for pound. I think Spence, he's going to take the rematch. I mean, just the guy he is, he's going to take it. I mean, I'm not going to say it's going to be worse than this time, but I think he's, he's going to do a lot better to make it closer. I think Crawford still wins. But, yeah, Crawford's, Crawford's just the best fighter in the world for me. I, I think he beats anyone. But then I think, you don't I, know, because I don't think Crawford will want like rematch if he's just I mean, he hasn't dominated got someone like that. But, uh, I don't he, think he'll come back. I think he'll want to move up away and go for more challenges, and but bigger challenges. He hasn't got a choice. I mean, if, if, if the rematch if clause is there, he, may, he might have to take it. And yeah. if you're getting paid £10 million to beat up a guy that you've already beat up, you, you'd take it as well. So yeah, it's yeah. really all on Earl Spence, isn't it? And, and knowing the type of fighter and the type of man that he is, I think he probably him. will take yeah. it. We know Al Heyman. Al Heyman is a, a good advisor. Mm -hmm. And I really believe that Al Heyman will not advise. But uh, then saying that, that everyone seems much. to question what Spence has left because of this crash. I mean, if he ain't got much left, take the money. Run with it. Take, take, take the fight. Take the... I think, but I, 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 think they both, I think they both have a lot left in them. Yeah, I think, I think, I think, I think sure everyone they... kept over... Riding Crawford's resume, saying he ain't fought no one, he fought them past their time. I think he showed you he didn't. He was just be that much better than everyone he fought that Spence for. Mm -hmm. like, he's just a different level of fighter. I think all the questions have been put to bed, all of that's been put to bed now. Crawford's the best fighter in the world, hands down. Yeah. Bad country, man. I agree. I absolutely agree. Yeah. That thought persists, you know, if he's going to be so stubborn about this, trying to enforce the rematch clause, and maybe in, in the higher weight division, then. Maybe Crawford will say, well, you know, do your worst out of the ring. Many a promoter said to me, don't get carried away by these rematch clauses. It doesn't matter what's, what's in the contract. There is, a, there is always a way out. There's always a way out. I mean, there was a, always a way out when he was contracted with uh, another promoter. I think he was stuck with Bob Iron for a very, very long time and then took, him out, took himself out of that. Obviously, I think people have just overlooked and looked past Crawford, and I do feel a shame for him because the thing is that he's been overlooked by many, and I really believe when I first saw him fight, he would be one of the best fighters out there, pound for pound. I even said it when Mayweather was in the game, but I don't think he got the chance, and now mm -hmm. I think today the whole world knows how good Terence Crawford is, and I think he's proved his chance. Mayweather was a, a genius at what he did, but why, why does this guy appeal to, to you all so much, the, the way he does the business tonight? He does everything. He's, he's, he showed tonight he's as good offensively as he is defensively. Mm. He doesn't just focus on, you know, one aspect. I think Floyd had to change his game because his body was breaking down in him, and, you know, that, that's a great in itself to be able to adjust your whole yeah. game and still be on top. But mm. I think Crawford, you know, lives a good life. He's, he's lucky enough to... He's always blessed enough to not, you know, be affected by injuries and... You know, bad last our choices, so he's able to fight how he wants to and fight. And you do need the rivals, Carl. You know, you do, of course. Oscar Deloya had the right the rivals at welterweight in his time, yeah. didn't he? And I guess the Mayweather fans will say, well, it wasn't Mayweather's fault that there really wasn't anybody mm. of the technical level or, or of the accomplishments around, unless Mayweather waited for those guys to come in at the time of his choosing. But the, the point about this performance tonight by Crawford is also that Spence was at or very near to the top yeah. of his game. He had on a, a winning run. Yeah, he had a rival in Spence and, and, and he just made it look really, really easy tonight. That's how good he is. And, and, and going back to the comparisons with Floyd, defensively, he's not as good as Floyd, but he's very good defensively. Offensively, he's much better than Floyd. Um, I mean, as good an all-round fighter as, as you'll get. Yeah, uh, unbelievable. And, I mean, going back to Spence as well. I mean, rematch clauses. I think they could both go up to 154 and both win world titles and do it again. I think Spence has got a lot in him. I think he, he can go up, probably feel you know rejuvenated because he's been at 147 mm. all his career. Go up to 154, fresh start, he win a world title. Ch yeah, Charlo probably get stripped of a few belts, fighting Canelo, win a world title and do it again. I, mm. I don't think he needs to be activated straight away. I mean, I still think Spence beats a lot. Everyone at 147 and. A lot of guys at 154. 
Well, it's uh, an enticing prospect, of course, that it, Crawford could maybe even surpass what he's done tonight, reminding everybody now, becoming the first male boxer of all time to become the undisputed in two weight divisions. How about going Amazing. up and starting again for the higher? Did yeah, wouldn't you for a third one? Because I think... <laughs> if you could the, do it in, in quick order. Well, when we were last speaking in Omaha, he did say that he would like to go up to 154, which is like middleweight, and fight um, Charlo. And I think one of the Charlos is the... Unified. Unified. Yeah. Yes. And undisputed. the other one is... Is he undisputed? Undisputed. He's yeah. undisputed, and undisputed. I think that could be next. I mean, that would, that would be a massive fight. And I believe that Terence would beat I mean, I know he'll be giving a lot of weight away, but mm. really, I think Terence is a bigger... I'd have Terence Crawford as a fear broker in that yeah, fight. Yeah, going into yeah, that I fight and so. imagine making it a three-time uh, undisputed champion. I mean... And it's the mentality of the champion, of course, mm. that, that he's proven more, more than ever before tonight. Yeah. I think he, he was ringside. I don't know if you saw him on ringside. Yeah, I saw him. And yeah, Charlo, he, did, yeah. he didn't seem... Um, like, you can, you can always tell by someone's... Um, demeanor. Know, demeanor. And you can see how quiet and how shocked, in my opinion, he was when he was sat there. I think he was sat next to his wife or girlfriend. And you can see how he just, he, like, he was so quiet. And you can see by his attitude that I don't think he wanted any of it. 